Hello everyone and welcome to Roscria. I'm Mr. JDT and today we're going to be taking a short trip along the southern coast of the island. Before we get onto that however, I do want to address our height map overhaul that we undertook late last year. This was done due to there being problems with the old height map relating to how we added additional land. These problems started to cause issues with corrupting the height map leading to random terrain spikes and serious tears in the landscape. We also weren't 100% happy with the old height map, and with those two factors in our mind, we decided that replacing the height map was better than trying to fix the old one. The new height map has allowed us to slightly increase the size of the island, as well as create a world that better fits the stories and themes that we want to tell. It also hasn't hindered our development time, since exterior level design was further ahead than most departments, and although we haven't 100% finished the new height map yet, we have got about 75% of it done to a similar level than it was on the old height map. Now, let's go into game and give everyone their first look at our new height map. We are now approaching one of the villages in Roscrea. This is Matrashon, home of the Hawk Cult. The Hawk Cult are primarily farmers and herders who produce much of the food for the rest of the island. Some members of the cult can be found in other parts of Roscrea, having travelled with their herds there for fresh grazing. One of our big achievements in the last year is just how much of our writing we have got done. We've managed to get all the writing for all the NPCs on the island done, some 300 in total, and made sure they all have interesting, vibrant backstories. As you can see here, there are no greetings only NPCs on Roscrea. We have also got the majority of the side quests written, with many of them now already in game. The major quest lines that we have for some of the cults are also close to being finished off. These aren't as long as your Skyrim quest lines, but each delves into an aspect of island life as well as the politics between the cults. We also have our main quest written, which will be a 12 quest adventure to uncover some of the island's mysteries. The last major writing hurdle left to do is the followers, which you can find across the island and bring with you on your adventures. As we leave Matrashon, many who might be wondering what the name means. In Roscrian, it simply means Mother Shore. The Roscrian language is a conlang that we have developed and will be something you'll be able to see in the place names across the island, as well as heard spoken by the natives or from the taunts of the Draugr deep in their tombs. Another advantage with us updating our height map is it has really allowed us to make sure we have the environmental assets we need to bring the island to life. This has meant that we have created new models for much of the flora on the island to create a more interesting and varied world to explore. It has also allowed us to create some new creatures to help make Roscrea a more unique island with its own fauna. We do however need more talented artists to help bring them to life along with some of the other assets that we do need for the island. Thankfully, it's another area where we've had a great push in the last year by asking for help from other Beyond Skyrim projects to give us a hand creating many of the assets we still require. We are deeply grateful for the support that many of the members have given us, as well as the teams who have provided those said members. We do, however, still have some assets left to create, with a handful of these pieces still requiring concept art and still plenty left to be modeled. If you are a 3D artist and would like to help, it would be greatly appreciated to help get Roscrea finished, so please head over to the Beyond Skyrim website to submit an application. If you aren't a 3D modeler, but want to learn, then please check out the Arcane University, where their excellent teachers will guide you through the process and help you learn at your own pace.
Each settlement in Roscrea has a set of docks for its preferred way to travel around the island by the natives. The seas may be home to the Vashokar, the native raiders and pillagers, but it is often safer than crossing most of the land. The ferry system is one of many things implementation has been working on. On Roscrea we work slightly differently to larger projects and have been holding off on implementation until most of the writing and level design is complete. The good news is that in many places we are now at that stage and we are entering one of the most important parts of Roscrea's development. As you have seen, many of the NPCs have already been implemented and we are now moving on to the task of getting quests into the game. This is another area where more hands will be useful, so if you have the skills, please do apply or again, check out the Arcane University if not. We are now about to enter another of the Roscrean settlements. This one is Werelcrea and is home to the Owl Cult, a cult of mages and scholars who prefer to keep out of the usual politics between the cults. It is also a place where we can show off another piece of good news, and that is that we've got pretty much all the interiors we need for Roscrea 100% complete. In them, you'll be able to find more of our custom assets, including furniture, shrines, clutter, and clothing. Doesn't it look great? Being scholars, the Alcult are great collectors of knowledge and keepers of histories. They also do translation work, translating the great Roscrean sagas into Tamrielic as a way to pass on their knowledge. The Alcult have their own questline you'll be able to follow and explore, their unique cultural spin on the Roscrean way of life, as well as get a series of unique rewards. One thing you may have noticed is our reuse of the Nordic Dungeon Kit. This is in part due to Roscrians and Nords sharing a heritage through the Vietmorans, who long ago colonised both Skyrim and Roscrea, bringing their culture with them. Unlike on Tamriel, where the Nords intermingled with the other races of men and moved away from their Atmoran roots, the Roscrians kept many of their ancient traditions, meaning many of the temples and ancient structures are still in use. We haven't copied everything though, but have made sure to give much of the clutter you'll see its own Roscrian design, as you can see here.
Here, along the southern coast of Roscrea, you'll find the weather to be much nicer than it is along the northern coast, where the cold gales from Atmora keep it frigid all year round. However, this current weather is a bit too nice, and we will eventually be changing it. It's one of the last things that we need to do as landscapers. These forests are also home to nature spirits called glastics. They are very protective of their woodland realms, and don't like them being disturbed. Even the most hardy of the Roscreans gives them a wide berth. Unfortunately, today, we don't have the time to visit a dungeon, but overall they're coming along well, but it is something we could do with extra pairs of hands to get the last few finalised and polished. If you have any interest, please submit an application or visit the Arcane University. Some of you eagle-eyed viewers may have noticed a few misplaced assets or areas that need some extra polish. If you did, then we are happy to announce that we plan on opening up a QA department on Roscrea to help get everything we have to the best possible and bug-free level that we can get. Please keep your eyes peeled for future announcements for that if you are interested. We also hope to be opening up voice acting once the last of the writing has been finished and edited. We don't have a defined opening dates for those yet, so please keep your eye on the Beyond Skyrim social media pages. Crenshaw, the main imperial town on Roscrea, and where you will start your journey when you first visit the island. The people who moved here from Tamriel generally had a reason to leave the mainland and move to an island in the middle of nowhere, but at least they're friendlier than the natives. Thank you to everyone for watching this little peek into Roscrea. Unfortunately, we are not quite at the stage where we can confidently give a release date, but the project is in a really good place, and with some luck and some extra help, we can finally get Roscrea released, and that's all you lovely people. We will, however, be doing a stream later in the year to show some more of the work we have done, so keep your eyes peeled for the announcement for that. I hope you all enjoyed the showcase, and look forward to sharing more information about the project with you all.